Hey guys, this is Calvin from Instalod. In this video, we are taking a look at the Billboard Imposter type. Using Billboard Imposters is a very powerful way to create the illusion of 3D geometry whilst creating an extremely low poly model. This illusion is generated by baking the object details and material parameters into textures such as the normal, roughness and metalness maps. Let's start off with this car chassis. If we know that we are never going to get up close to this model or rotate around it, using a billboard imposter is the perfect solution. I will start off with a single billboard on the XY axis. I will make sure to bake out the roughness and metalness textures so that those individual material parameters are kept identical on the final result. I will finish things off by reducing the texture size to 1K as this will be more than enough to capture all of the detail that we need when viewed from a distance. With this done, we can click Start and let Instalog process the model. Once done, we can see that the model visually hasn't changed and even getting up close results in a convincing visual result. However, when rotating around the model, we can see that we have generated a flat billboard mesh. Before we move on, let's have a quick look at some of the settings. The padding is responsible for the distance between the edge of the texture and the edge of the billboard. If we go ahead and increase this padding, we can see how we now have space between the car and the edge of the mesh. The gutter size and pixel works in UV space and specifies the minimum distance between individual UV shells. So right now, for example, we can see that the shells are quite close together. So increasing this will spread them apart, which can remove potential mip map bleeding. With the axes settings, we can add multiple billboards per axis to achieve any angle that you might require. Two-sided quads is enabled by default and makes sure that both sides of the object are baked out. However, if only one side is required, you can disable this to reduce the polygon count and texture size needed. Whilst subdivisions can be added if needed on the U and V axes, the alpha cutout feature allows users to cut around the object to remove as much alpha area as possible to optimize the rendering performance. The resolution changes the cutout resolution and removes alpha area in a more detailed fashion. Now that we have had an overview of the settings, let's look at another use case where billboard imposters are used a lot which is with foliage. In 3D, plants are typically made up of individual planes with textures applied to them to give the illusion of more detail. Unfortunately, optimizing meshes like these using traditional optimization techniques is not a viable solution, as removing vertices from these texture planes results in the mesh getting thinned out, which can be seen even from a distance. Therefore, billboard imposters are typically used for distant LODs. We can create multiple billboards on different axes if required. As we can see in the final result, this can create a nice illusion of parallax, which can work from a distance. However, from up close, this solution is still not convincing. This is where we can use other imposter types, like the hybrid billboard cloud imposter, to create beautiful illusions which is what I will show you in the next video of this series.